Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for your Combat Zone 68 main event of the evening. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the 145-pound featherweight division. This bout is proudly sponsored by McDonald's and the Leeds Group, Humble Healings, and McMulkin Cadillac. And your referee in charge of the action once again is John English. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my right. He's wearing red with black and white and enters the cage with an impressive record of six victories and only one defeat. He's representing the Forge. Please welcome J.R. Bam Bam Coffrin. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner to my left, wearing the black shorts, and entering the cage with an impressive record of eight victories and only two defeats. He's representing Triumph BJJ. Please welcome Volvka KGB Clay. Hey, Dan, you think both these guys have had their nose broken before? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with no. Or maybe 17 times. All right, here we go. The gate is getting locked. The final match, the main event underway. Good double jab. Marty is uh, looking to keep this standing, I think. Ooh, good front, uh, rear front kick by Volka. Going for the single leg is Volka. I think he's gonna get it. Going for a double. Going for an ankle. That was interesting. That was uh, some good jujitsu right there. That was a single leg to a double leg to an ankle pick, all in the same transition. And it's actually, uh, Marty, that ends up getting the better of the exchange. Ah, wow, Marty down. tries to get out and gets taken right back down by Volta. I imagine that's like trying to swim away from a shark in the ocean. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Perfect you, you, explanation. You, yeah, you could feel it like coming at you, nibbling at your feet. volka has got a great interlace control of that instep, and that's, uh, that's, that's tough to shuck. Marty's got to watch the top of the head. That was pretty close. What Marty should do is push down on Vovka's head and try to bury it into the mat. I think he's going to be back down again here in a second. He's really working hard. He's got this, this arm, for this arm here as he gets lifted and slammed down wow. by Vovka again. Nice take down by his back. Boy, Dan called this. They call him the mangler. He's got a Kimura trap here. We saw that work earlier today. That's what I usually would defend against if somebody's going for a high crotch. And nice takedown. That's an uncomfortable position. Coffrin looks very comfortable in this position. You know, for being in. Oh, he, he is the epitome of calm right now. What happened to the rule about 12 to 6 elbows? It's only to the head. Going to the head. Going to the head. No, doing a smart do, trying to weaken the legs of uh, of Clay. Didn't really help though. It's a bad position for uh, for Marty to be in, just because of uh, Clay's history. This is usually where he wins a lot of his fights. Vavka softening him up, trying to get to that neck. Yeah, he's in such a good position right now, too. Look how, look at it, what a good job Vavka's doing, keeping his hips low and uh, married to Marty's hips. So he's not high riding like we saw a lot of other guys do. High ride's a good way to, to lose the position. Marty wants to get belly to belly with him and hand fight in between. Cochran might get belly to belly with him here. He does. No separation either, stayed right on top of it. It's a good idea to circle like, like uh, Clay is doing. Oh, Corcoran with a big overhand right just misses. Yeah. 
Cochran, oh. very powerful strikes. But it looks it, it, it. looks it. Looping, though, looping. I like to see more down the pipe, but very powerful. If he catches Vavka, you know, he could make it a short night. And he's got, Vavka's going to watch out for that overhand right. It, it, it looks like it has the potential to sneak in there. Vavka doing a good job trading with him. Oh, good body shot. I had to assume that that hurt just because he went in for the, the single leg. And that guillotine is tight. He's got to look up. Probably about a minute left to go in this round, too. If he's going to do something with it, he's got to do it now. That, that's, that's problematic. That guillotine is problematic. Nice. Great takedown with only about 15 seconds Neon. remaining for Vavka. That could win the round for him there. Neon Belly could be going for Dars here. He looks like he's fishing an arm and... I don't think he's going to have time, though. We're about to hear the sticks. That's the time. There we will is. make it out of the first round. Wow, well fought by both fighters. Dan. Who takes that first round? I'm going to give it to Vavka for that round. Um, I think he kind of won it right there at the end with that little flurry there at the end. Right. Otherwise, I was almost going to give it to, to Cochran here because it was just so close. I'm going to give it a 9-9 round. I like that, just to be difficult. <laughs> Where have we heard that before? Oh, that's right. Honestly, both fighters look pretty composed in their corners right now. Nobody seems to be, you know, they look tired, but not overly exhausted. Yeah, I don't think conditioning is an issue for either of these athletes. Cochran's got uh, a little bit more muscle on him, and that may cause uh, him to be a little bit more fatigued. And that's why I don't have a lot of muscle on me because I don't want to get fatigued I'm the same way. in my daily activities. All right, I try not to carry well. too much. <laughs> Here we go, round number two of the main events. It's underway. Another double jab entry by Cochran. Good kick to the body by Volka Clay. Woo! Little slip by Volka. Oh, well, look at that. But he still takes advantage of it. Yeah. Marty got a little excited and went in for the gusto, and Vavka was able to uh, reverse, reverse it. This is a strange position. Uh, yeah, I didn't. Like, and now Cochran with the takedown. Single leg, he ran the pipe. Vavka's got his inside hook in. He's got a good butterfly guard. We've all seen him work off his back before. What Clay has is a cut, uh, or at least it's a, a, a mouse on his uh, the corner of his right eye. Um, see it? His team's going to want to get an end swell on that, and, and Corcoran's going to want to open that up. Good hand control by Clay. The mouse isn't that bad right now. But it could turn quickly. It, yep. It, they, from experience, they tend to fill up with blood, especially after some, uh, some hits. Some good ground control right now by, by Cochran. He high, high legs out, but he inadvertently may have given Vavka his back. He's got to be careful. Working on a Kimura. Vavka, great job of recovering guard. Great job recovering guard. If I were Cochran, I would try to posture up and, and throw some heavy hands. I don't want to be in Vavka's guard for too long. Mouse is getting a little bit bigger. Marty could free up his left hand. As he did right when you said it. Oh, some heavy hammer fist. Volka could turn this into a guillotine. Not anymore. No, Marty's got the strength. He seems to be uh, being able to pull out of uh, some of the locks that uh, Vavka's trying to put him in. Looking for a head and arm Osotagari. It's a strange position. 
think, I think Marty's doing a good enough job on the stand-up that he can disengage and try to re-engage Vavka with uh, some hands. Okay, this, this is exhausting to both fighters, but uh, the action's kind of slowed down a little bit. You can see JR using several different techniques to try to, to wear Vavka down, you know, punching the thighs, stomping on the feet. I don't think this clinch is helpful to anybody at this point. No, but all the little, the little other techniques that I, I spoke of, as time goes on into it, like a, a long three-round fight like this, those are going to build up, and that's going to—he's going to start to feel that in his muscles later in the third round. Yeah. And I think Jr. knows that this is going to go three rounds this fight. Yeah, that's big nice elbow, elbow from Vaughn. Oh! Return, another big elbow. That was a hard hit. G what a good defense. This is a tough match. These two are countering each other uh, so well. Oh, uh, he should have kept that cross face. Got about a minute to go left in the second round. Vavka's gonna finish this takedown. Vavka absolutely needs this takedown to have any chance to win this round. I'm not sure nice. that it helps either. What, a reverse Ren recovery into uh, Marty's in trouble. He's, Vavka's got to move fast if he's to try and win this round. Yeah, there are about 30 seconds left to go. I think Marty's just got to hang on. I think so, too. He's going to take a little damage doing it, though. Guillotine. It's tight. It's tight. No. He's out. Hammer fist, that'll show you to stand still. Cross facing him down. What a good match. Wow, unbelievable. Wow. Main event for a reason, I guess. All right, I gotta ask that same old question, guys. I'll start with you, Troy. Who took that round? I gotta I gotta give it to Cochran, but it's really close. The judges. And even Dan may call that a split round. Dan, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually gonna give it to Cochran. I'm gonna agree with with Troy, uh, not to be difficult this time around. But <laughs> it's nice when you both agree. All right, so I mean, we can all agree that this third round really will be the decider. I mean, it could be going any way at this point in time. Here's here's the deal, though. Vavka is the champion, and historically speaking, if you're going to beat the champion by decision, you really have to take it. It can't be close. He's got to he's got to win by a, a resounding. All right, here we go, Gators Lock. Third and final round of the match and of the evening. A little respect by both fighters coming out at the end. Oh, for sure. This, they, they, they've both worked so hard. Good solid jab by Cochran. Oh, good boxing, good boxing. Don't anybody call Volvka Clay's chin suspect, because it is not. He's going to get this takedown. That's deep. The question is, is will he get some sort of semblance of a guard, or is Vavka going to start raining down hell? Vavka's got the arm trapped here as, as, he as JR made a mistake to reach underneath. He, he, he's trying to play a deep half, but in, in reality, in MMA, if you don't play deep half well, you've just put yourself in a world of hurt. Is he going for Kimura? I think it looks. He's well, just he using was. the underhook. And JR sunrises oh. out, turns Holy into a double smokes. leg. Wow. 
and he gets the takedown. Vovka looking for a switch maybe, no. Vovka, Vovka just missed a, an opportunity uh, to, to, get, uh, to get his back. Somebody's cut. I don't know if it's uh, Cochran who's cut, but there was blood on the arm. It's going for more of his own. One's fighting for a high crotch, the other is fighting for Kimura. Bob is gonna get another takedown. Thus far this round is for Clay, he's one takedown ahead of the game. Just swapping takedown for takedown here in the third round. Bobka could have a potential guillotine. No, he swapped it for the underhook. Looking for a sweep, maybe. No, he's got a head-to-head -head neck crank. We're just about halfway done this third and final round. Good groundwork by both of these guys. I feel like Cochran still got more sting on his punches. Well, we're gonna find out. Yes, he does. Oh, Vavka landed a good body kick. Those pay dividends, and I'm watching, I'm watching Cochran's mouth is wide open. That may have been a, a, the, a takedown that solidifies a win on gonna pass, but that may have solidified uh, Vavka taking the, the this this round. Well, what about a minute and a half to go? Well, there's many a slip between a cup and a lip. There it is. Something still could change. One wrong move or one right move. He's passed, somebody's cut. I don't know if it's a cauliflower ear that, that's busted open. It's JR that's cut. It looks like it's near the ear. I think it's his cauliflower ear. I actually made. Oh, what, what just happened? Von, Von Flu choke. choke. Wow. wow. He snuck that in. Stuck that in on us. I'll tell you, man, I, I've known Vavka for, for over 10 years now, and I am not surprised. He's a sneaky bastard, man, and he does this stuff a lot, and I'm not kidding jiu-jitsu tournaments. I've watched him beat black belts in jiu-jitsu, getting his ass kicked for five minutes and, and allowing that guy to, it, there's, this, there's something there. He's allowing that guy to waste all his energy and then off his back and then you see the guy tap and it's like, what the hell just happened? Well, he's sneaky. He knows. I got to experience that just now. It's his head that was cut. You know what, though? He fought an amazing fight because this could have gone anywhere. Well, before we hear uh, what has to be said in the ring, once again, uh, much love and support for Devin Powell, who is uh, fighting in the UFC in Argentina. And uh, the Northeast BJJ podcast. If you uh, if you like the content uh, coming out my mouth, uh, I was just on that podcast. Please give it a listen. Absolutely, you can always find me at mikekcomment.com uh, and find out where I'm going to be and what I'm going to do. And uh, all right, here we go. The final announcement of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Three minutes and thirty-three thirty. Six seconds of the third and final round. Referee John English stops his contest. Free winner by tap out from a Vaughn Flute Choke. Wolfka. There it is, Wolfka Clay hey. taking home the win for the main event of Combat Zone 68. All right, that's going to do it here at, uh, from the Double Tree in Manchester, New Hampshire. For Dan Bonnell, Troy Pickering, I am Mike Katrobus. Thanks for being here tonight. We will be back on February 2nd, Groundhog Day for Combat Zone 69. Have a great holiday season. We'll see you guys next year. Good night. God bless America. <laughs>